Well, welcome back for the second half of the GDFL match of the day between North Geelong and Thompson. Ron said uh, hello to everybody at Osborne Park at half time. And a special cheerio to Event. <laughs> I tell you what, falling in love again. <laughs> Brett will never bring a girlfriend again. <laughs> no, to it's the football. important that they do because it makes me feel young. She actually spoke to me oh, a couple of times. I know, we're going to have to speak to her sternly after the match about that. She won't be doing that again. If I had to talk to Dickie Philpot and he reckoned he's got a bigger shadow than Ronnie Brain. <laughs> well, they're both, uh, they're, they're both uh, sponsored by Ray's Tent City, so uh, they've both been out there in North Geelong this week. Thank you, mother. And uh, start of the third term here, it's three points of difference, and the uh, Tigers have the advantage at the moment, 5-3 to 4-6. Umpire Nolan puts it down in the middle. Backwell's got it. Handball okay to Timmy Gardner. His kick towards Richardson at half foot. Oh, it turns around easy. Handball to Withers. He's got somebody coming at him. That's Marnie, but he handballs over top. Ricky Humphrey, it's uh, a la first quarter Humphrey because he kicked the goal. Oh, another Tiger goal, and the Tigers S roar. Similar to the first quarter, except it's a goal, not a point. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. The uh, same scenario. R Humphrey kicked the first goal of the game, and he's kicked the first goal of the third quarter to stretch the Thompson lead. 6-3, 39, the Tigers. Goal number three. North Geelong, 4-6, on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. And as Ron said, Rick Humphrey's third goal. Sensational footy. So a quick start once again from the Tigers, and they stretch their lead to nine points. Welcome back, Stephen. How did they treat you in the, uh, the clubhouse? Uh, Dick Philpot there? Yes, he was there with his lovely Collingwood badge on, looking forward to a big night in front of the telly tonight. Well, many happy... It's his 47th birthday yesterday, it? Dick. It was. Having a drink with him after the game. Lovely. A handball from Highland to Harris. He missed it. Ha kick off the ground by Cummings is OK. And it goes to Hutchinson. Takes a bounce. Takes two bounces at half forward. He runs inside uh, 50. Goes high towards Walsh, the smallest man on the ground. Punched away by Wallace. Backing up there, Stein. Good pick up too. And goes wide looking for Mickey Gann. He, found, he finds him. He's up against Burns at the moment on the wing. So uh, Gann, just on the defensive side of that wing, is short towards Timmy Gardner. Can't take it with him. Burns right next to him as well. Simpson there, wrapped up, then gets away. Left foot kick around the corner, looking for Cumming. And Harris getting back there in front of Naylor. Highland tried to tap it in front, then tap it behind. McDermott handball to Key is OK. Handball to Simpson running across half back. He wants to set something up. Goes wide looking for Jamie Marnie. It's out in front of him. He wants a shepherd from his brother Stewie. He gets it. Time now. He's got Lewis who's just on the ground. Oh, he walks around. Then he gets a kick away. Now Kervis good slips catch. And uh, he takes the mark. Well, good pressure. <coughs> Unfortunately, he slipped. Slipped at the crucial time. Yeah. First kick down on the forward line would have been better. Now Kervis short to Atchison. Oh, that's young Walsh is limping badly too. He goes towards Wolfenden at a half forward and he takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Left foot kick. Burns getting back there and also Simpson. Simpson takes the mark in between full back and centre half back. Oh, poor kick. He looked for Vanderberg. He didn't sit for him. Coming there in support. His handball out wide towards Burns who has to sit and wait for it. He does so. He goes short, chopped off by Atchison, looking for Hannison. He's handballed to Gardner, still inside the centre square. Measures the pass to Highland, pick up on the half volley. Now he needs a lead, he gets around one, and play on the call advantage for a push. Highland goes into Menzies, but McDermott, who slipped over and then was able to take the mark, couldn't take the mark in the end. Menzies handball to Richardson, the coach oh puts it through for a goal. And Joe McDermott will be ruining that lost mark there. They look rattled. They do a little bit. Richardson's first goal. Thompson have come out blazing. Two goals in a couple of minutes. 7-3-45. The Tigers, North Geelong, 4-6-30 on the APCO Easy Shops third quarter scoreboard. APCO Easy Shops. Where do you find them, Jase? Oh, I reckon you might find them in South Geelong, in Newcomb, in North Geelong, in Lara, in East Geelong, and I reckon they might even be in Sunny Bowen Heads. Beautiful thing. The one-stop shop that's got the lot. That's the APCO Easy Shop. And uh, with all your millions, I hear you're opening one in Warren Ponds. Is that right? Correct. <laughs> Open in about November, you're, we hope. You're unbelievable. God, I've got to get a job like yours. <laughs> Back to the centre. It's 15 points of difference, you can see, on the scoreboard. And the Tigers, a couple of quick goals in this uh, early stage of this third term, has just broken open the match a little bit. The biggest lead of the day for the Tigers. Jones now in the middle. He gets slung off the footy. They're working well in midfield. Wolfen then gets it to back wall. Left foot kick. Cowan on the lead. And easy as you like. Plugger's taking the mark in front of Harrington. The first clear possession he's had all day. Midfield of the Pies. A little rattled. Might have to make some changes. Uh, Tassie Hodgson and the match committee at North Geelong. They've had uh, two goals. And this one Cowan lining up for his third. Three 
straight centre breaks for the Tigers. So Cowan now from 30 metres out, left foot kick. And uh, he might have missed it to the far side. He has done so. One behind to the big man. So two behinds for Mark Cowan. <coughs> 7-4-46, the Tigers. North Geelong, 4-6-30 on the Upco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. We've been playing uh, four and a half minutes on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies time clock. Kicking by Harrington wide towards Jones. Also Marnie coming across. Gardner, Naylor there as well. A oh, good play. Handball. Didn't go to Marnie though. And he can't keep it in. The thought was there though, wasn't yep, it? Yep, it yeah, was. Very creative and uh, I do like that boy. Can't play. So a boundary throw in. Always thinking. Always thinking. Throw in, Harris in front, big thump away, Marnie roves it at the side of the pack, Burns runs back with a flight of the foot, he gets a hand to it, Gann chops it off, and uh, right in the middle there was Wolfenden, comes out, Harrington and Simpson getting back there, Humphrey runs through and makes a space for himself, and also Jamie Marnie who bottle it up at half forward for the Tigers, and it's going to be another throw up by Mark Nolan, big pack around the ball. 7-4 to 4-6. Tigers in front. Up. Harris. Naylor goes up early. Only as far as Wolf. And then runs into Gardner and gives him the footy on the way past. His right foot kick. Cowan running back with the flight of the ball. Punch away by Key. And uh, Plugger can't keep it in. It's going to be a boundary throw in about 15 metres around from the Tigers goal. We've done all the attacking in the early stages of this third term. It's got dark all of a sudden, Josh. It has. It's clouded over here at Osborne Park. And I uh, wouldn't be too surprised we get a share or two in this second half. Richardson, Marnie, gets it to Mark Burns. Running at him, Wolfenden. And good pressure because he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. And it's going to be a free kick to, Nor uh, to Thompson. And it's going to be Terry Nan Curvis on the half-forward flank. Goes short to Wolfenden. And he takes the mark in front of Burns. So they've only gained about 10 metres there. Cowan giving him half a lead. Richardson says kick it long. Now Richardson gives him a lead, so he elects to go longer. And Cowan there, up also was McDermott. Falls to the front of the pack, coming. Running in there, Simpson. Cowan straight through the pack. Breaks a tackle, gives it to Gardner, gives it to Humphrey. Humphrey puts it up high. Richardson with the sit. Oh, oh no, indiscriminately. You can't do that. Pushed there. Who was that defender? That looked like... Uh, was it Jamie Barney then? It was Marnie and McDermott. Ran straight at him. Mm. Marnie ran straight at Richardson there as he was going for the footy. So uh, Richardson will have a kick for goal from about uh, 10 metres out. Fairly tight angle though. He's kicked one goal, which was uh, the last one kicked. He'll have a chance to kick number two. He's a right footer. He comes in and uh, that looks a pretty good kick to me. He's done very well. He's got the boys fired up at half time. The coach of the Tigers and he's kicked two goals himself. And uh, Thompson stretched their lead to uh, 8 4 52. They lead North Geelong 4 6 30 on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. It's 22 points of difference as we hear uh, Robert Hennison going into the ruck for North Geelong. Kane Harrington going to the forward line. So a few changes. Skoko to centre half forward. And uh, Key is back on Cowan. McDermott on Menzies. Naylor is back at centre half back on Richardson. So a few changes made by the uh, North Geelong Match Committee. And uh, they need them. They haven't scored a goal yet. Or, or in fact scored in this third quarter. And they're 22 points behind Thompson. Bounce down. It. Well, it favours uh, Harris. He was uh, under a bit of pressure there from Cummings. There's been an indiscriminate kick. And I think you'll find it looks like he's hurt himself too there, Andrew Atchison. He's up OK now, the rubber man. And he's put weight on again this year, I'd reckon. <laughs> Two or three kilos. Yeah. Uh, he's kicked low trajectory up to half forward. Ball loose at centre half forward now. No one can really get a handle on it. Uh, Richardson's in there throwing his weight around. And got a little bit of uh, response there from uh, Naylor. Nothing serious. A little bit of show of strength. Umpire Wakefield now bounced down. Good one too. Bit of a, uh, a square ball there. Uh, both Ruckman hit the ball together. And it sort of went straight up in the air and came down again. And we're going to have an action replay. 
at centre half forward for the Tigers. Bounce down. Hannison tried the big thump, got a fingertip to it. Comes from guard to Mick Gann on his left foot. And he might have missed. He has to the near side. One behind to the wingman. He again. Good hands from Timmy Gardner there. So they go to 8 5 53. Thompson, North Geelong, 4 6 30. On the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Key to kick in. Comes a member's side looking for Jones. Gardner up against him. Good tap down in front. Humphrey turns around on his left foot. Cowan running back with the flight of the footy. Key up. Rove Menzies can't take it with him. Also, there was Humphrey. Menzies there against uh, Simpson. Simpson sees it over the boundary line for a throw in next to the behind post. And with the Tigers attacking. The bounce of the ball then. Crueled uh, Glenn Menzies. Dale. Dale, I yeah, mean. His brother. Would have been a certain goal. He's kicked two this afternoon looking for some more. Richardson tried to take it out of the ruck himself against uh, Naylor. Pack develops about 15 metres out from the Thompson goal. And we'll have another ball up. Pies have lost their way a bit, uh, Jason. There doesn't seem to be any system in their play at all. No, they need to uh, work a bit harder across half-back and get their midfield involved a little bit more. Richardson and Naylor up again. Jones trying to uh, start something for the Magpies from deep in defence. He does now. Handball to coming. No shepherding there. So he gets a kick around the corner. Back wall. Grabs it. Outside 50. Couldn't keep it in, though. And it's going to be a boundary throw-in. Outside 50. I think when you look at it, fellas, it's, it's basically a laziness. Uh, when they're, not, they're not running. North no. players now have stopped to a walk, basically. When, but before when they were running in that first quarter, especially, and they moved the ball quickly, they looked terrific. I think they thought it was a bit over after quarter time. They thought, you know, it was uh, going to be an easy day. Yeah. Well, Thompson are going to make sure they earn every bit of it because uh, at the moment they're now, let's have a look, 23 points down the North Geelong Pies. Ball up high. Underneath the ball, Skoko. Couldn't get it, but uh, quick hands there from the interchange player in Lewis was okay. Kick up there looking for Milne and Stein. Milne wins out. Handball back to Burns. Taps it between his legs. Milne, good use of the body. Pack of players were formed. Umpire Mark Nolan will bounce down out of sight. Centre wing. Uh, time clock shows on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies time clock. We've been going about 13 and a half minutes of this third and vital quarter of footy. Tap down by Hannison Rove by Stein off the back of the pack. Goes towards Simpson and back. Well, Simpson leads in the race of the footy and uh, sees it over the boundary line on centre wing on the outer side. As Ron said, 23 points of difference. So the Magpies need a couple of uh, quick replies. Thrown in. Harris in front. Hannison from behind. Goes towards Nan Curvis. Burns. Traps it. Then gave it to Cummings. He lost it. And a free kick for a hold. Going to go to the Magpies. And uh, it's going to go to Cummings. Oh, gave it to Jones. Put him under pressure. But he's okay to give it to Burns. He kicks it back into Hannison. Can play on now. Inside the centre square at centre half forward. Goes long. Hutchinson's there. Coming out. Harrington used the body. Roved by Stewie Marnie. Got to kick a goal. And does so. Good play, Stewie Marnie. Skillful play off the back Great goal. of the pack. And they needed that one badly. The next, uh, the next goal will be the key to it, I think. So Stewie Marnie's first goal, and the first for the Magpies in this third term. 5-6-36. They go to Thompson, 8-5-53. So they bring the margin back to 17 points in this third term. That could be the inspiration that the fabulous Magpies are looking for. Stuart Marnie hasn't really put many feet wrong here this afternoon, and... Uh, Played well. His second quarter was a beauty. So he'll be one of the keys for the Magpies if they are to get back into this match. They trail at the moment by 17 points on the Upco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. And we see Hutchinson coming off and uh, Christian Owens coming onto the ground. Out of the centre. Skoko at centre half forward now. Gets a kick around the corner. Milne, if it sits, if he can take the mark, he can. He can play on now. He gets a shepherd. He's inside 30. He goes long towards the goal. Stewie Marnie getting back. Oh, it's hit the post. Right on the bottom. So not far away, Glenn Milne are behind. And uh, once again, getting it out of the centre there, the Pies. 5-7-37, North Geelong. Thompson, 8-5-53. Kicking by Atchison. Comes member's side. Oh, Ooh. poor kick too. Stewie Marnie can't tackle it. Mert Burns can. Gives it to Marnie. He's 30 metres out on a fairly tight angle. Centres the ball beautifully towards Welsh. Free kick found for a hold. <coughs> and... Uh, it's going to go to Adam Walsh. Walsh wants to kick quickly, and he does, and he kicks it straight through the middle. So 
the quick, fight back. The quick replies they needed. North Geelong, they've got. Firstly, uh, what, uh, sorry, firstly, the, the goal coming from Stewie Marnie and then Adam Walsh. So two of the younger players in the side getting a couple of goals and North have gone to 6 7 43. Thompson 8 5 53. It's back to 10 points of difference on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Yeah, as I said earlier, I thought that would have been the needle that the Pies needed. Out of the centre, Ronnie. Yep. It's uh, vital. And uh, straight off the ground, Jimmy Wallace for that uh, very late tackle on uh, Stewie Marnie. Needless to say, a goal resulting. Ball back to the centre. Bounce down now favours uh, that uh, big, the big ruckman at the moment in uh, Henderson. Loose ball to centre half forward. Sees that uh, Joe McDermott struggled there. Kick was well smothered. Timmy Gardner now. Opportunity for Menzies. Kicks it out wide. Menzies has plenty of time to steady, but oh. He's had Humphrey B. Bear there. Yeah, about uh, full forward. 25 metres from Mc, uh, Malcolm Key. And didn't see him. No. <coughs> Should have done better with that, Dale. He's kicked two goals this afternoon. Was going for goal number three. Has missed everything. So it's going to be a free kick to Malcolm Key in the last line of defence for the Magpies. We'll head to the outer side. And kicks along outside 50. Naylor there. Up in front. Can't take the mark. Roved by Nan Curvis. He gets his little kick away towards the boundary line. It's pretty close there. The umpire lets it go. It's still in play. Free kick for holding the ball. It's against North Geelong. And that was uh, like it was against... Could have been McDermott. Yeah, it was. Comes in short towards Jamie Marnie. Rides a bump, then handball. Well, it wasn't McDermott because there he is. He, oh, he put Jones under pressure though. Withers was there. Tried to shepherd him off. And it was two. Free kick found. It was Lewis, I think. 15. Lewis. Okay. Shepherding off the ball. Shepherding off the footy. So Daryl Jones to take the free kick. At half back. Comes wide. Looking for Jamie Marnie. Atchison at pace. But he takes the mark, Marnie. Oh, if you get it over the top of Skoko, he gets it to Cumming, who starts running from half back. He's got uh, somebody wide. That's Milne. And he goes in that direction. Also running there at pace was Burns. Runs through the middle of the pack. Puts it out oh. in front of him. Tried to play for the free kick. Goes towards Harrington now, who's in the forward line bottled up. Could yeah. nearly have been a free kick, Jason. Could have been for a hold on Mark Burns, but it's not. And umpire Nolan will come in and bounce the ball about 35 metres out from the North Geelong goal. Well, making a run at the moment. Skoko, big thump, goes towards Burns. Kick off the ground by Stein. And it's out of bounds. So the Magpies, the last two goals. And they trail by 10 points. 6-7-43 to 8-5-53 on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. And uh, we've been playing 18 and a half minutes in this third term on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies time clock. Thrown in. In front, Skoko. Harris from behind. Through the middle of the pack without the footy, Jones. And it's in there again. So umpire Nolan will have a bit more work to do. Well, time clock ticking away, boys. We've been going about uh, 18 and a half minutes off this third and vital quarter of footy out here at Osborne Park. Round 8 GDFL match of the day. And uh, as we said, 10 points to the margin. Thompson in front, the reigning Premier. Sees some good work there from Lamb to Gardner. Oh, lovely one-handed Richardson. Plays on at centre wing up there looking for Menzies in front of McDermott. Takes the foot at half forward. Oh, he's kicked it into McDermott on the mark. Poor football dial Menzies. Well shepherded there from Naylor. The two 11s clash. Ooh. And uh, top mark. Top mark Shane Birds has been a real ambassador for his club here this afternoon. Now, not sure. He went, went one way, went the other. Lost his footing and has given it away. Kick the ball straight down the throat of the um, Whitley medalist in Timmy Garner. He goes towards Witters at half forward. Takes the mark under pressure from Simpson. Just slowing up the play. Oh, oh I thought he was going to handball to Humphrey. Handball to Nan Curvis who was running. Oh, wrapped up by Hannison. Dropped the footy. Just a little bit too much pressure there across <laughs> half forward for that. Simpson's down with cramp as uh, Hannison will take the free kick. So just settling play down a little bit for the Magpies. Hasn't got much on offer. Oh, kick smothered. Over the by, mark. By Nan Curvis. Highland turns around and get back to, gets back onto his right boot. Fantastic kick out in front of Wolfenden. If it sits, will it? No, it won't. 
and right next to him coming and it's out of bounds 10 metres around from the Tiger goal. I've got to say Jason there's been two or three incidents just in the last couple of minutes, Burns in the centre here and just that last incident the man on the mark's just creeping forward and the umpire's just letting it go Ooh, ooh there you Fair are. comment, Richardson out of the pack, oh he's hit the goal Ho oh, ho, what an inspiration <laughs> what an inspiration, brings back true memories and Richardson, the coach, kicks his third. And that's uh, three goals for the quarter for Alan Richardson. And Thompson, just a steadying goal, 9-5-59. They lead North along 6-7-43 on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. It's 16 points of difference again in this third term, playing 20 and a half minutes on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. Jason, I think it's time for Naylor to go back on the ball. Yeah, you're probably right. He dominated in that first half. Back at centre half, back at the moment. Get Naylor back <laughs> on the ball. <laughs> Coach says, <laughs> and uh, we think Shuey Hardiman has been eardropping again. <laughs> He's always done it. The Dow defender playing, I forget how many thousand games, Shuey. He's lost count. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the middle, Hennison and Harris coming up also through Highland, uh, and another kick away from the middle, Richardson at the back, Naylor, uh, Naylor went up, Richardson's got it, can give it to Humphrey, was going to, then he wants to kick it himself, now he gives it to Humphrey, and it's play on advantage for a high tackle, and Humphrey's kicked another goal, and the B Bears happy about that, because that's number four for him, and that man, Richardson again, instrumental in getting the footy out to him, and the steadying goal again for Thompson, 10-5-65. They lead North Geelong, 6-7-43 on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. Well, Jason, I've got to say it, you can't rob Peter to pay Paul. You've oh, taken your, your key player out of the centre to cover a centre-half forward who's kicking goals because the Ruckman is a Ruckman. True. Yep. Interesting, and I hope you're making notes of this from an interleague point of view. Obviously a non-baller. All right, then, we'll, we'll we'll keep that. Thank you. I'll put that away in the notebook. Ruck Rover half forward, mate. Ruck Vermont. Rover half forward. All right. Nig niggling tactics are a bit late. <laughs> <laughs> Richardson's kicked three, go uh, three goals and Humphrey four as uh, the Tigers are in control. Harris got one high. Handball back towards Burke and Nan Curves. Harris followed it up, pushed it between his legs. Now Burke keeps it in front of him. Good play, but Marnie chops it off. Skoko has to bend down, can't pick it up. Lewis... Got in front of him. Harris worked hard again. Tried to get it to Nan Curvis. It's out to Highland. Handball. Good exchange of hand passes. Goes to Lamb on his right boot. Simpson getting back. The only man with eyes to the ball. And takes the mark on the wing. Yeah, he plays on quickly too to Jones. Back to Simpson. Left foot kick a beauty too. And it'll set Stewie Marnie up. Nice footy there from the dashing half-back flanker in Stevie Simpson. Marnie kicked the ball from out of bounds, and that is out of bounds, but the boundary umpire, she's a young lady, doesn't know the rules yet and has let it go. <laughs> so, therefore, an opportunity now for North Geelong. Jones, good work. Round the body he goes. Smothered. No, it's not, because the ball slipped from underneath that big boy then. That's Owens it was. And it's kicked clear there by uh, Withers. Withers kicked the centre wing. Matt, uh, Richo, he loves it. Richo and Naylor. And Timmy Gardner comes in to help him. And, uh, yeah, he's got him. He's absolutely got him in, I'm afraid. And that's why Naylor can't get a kick, because Richardson, the old, hit, the older head on the shoulders, has sucked him right in. And uh, Gardner had a bit of pressure, but he ducks and moves. Little chip to Hyla was cute. But, Timmy, you've got to kick the ball long, Timmy Gardner, as we see now the ball out of bounds. And uh, Highland just looks up here and says, Ronnie, what are you talking about? <laughs> right. I know, son. I've played in the premiership side. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, Spud. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> out the back to Wolfenden. He can't trap it. Lewis on hands and knees. Harris in there also working hard. Comes to Vanderberg. His left foot kicks okay. Stewie Marnie in front of Lamb, who's not fit. Oh. He runs out of bounds again. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, got away with it the second time. Goes up high. Peacock can't take the mark at the back of the pack. It's out of bounds now. And a boundary throw in around from the North Geelong Marty's goal. Marty's calling for out on the full. <laughs> yet, yet the up, I didn't see him run over the line when he kicked He's it. He's done it twice in a row. <laughs> Poor Alicia Habib. She's absolutely earning a keep here this afternoon, I tell you. I've never seen so many things in, happen in all at once in different synchronised positions in all my life. We'll think about that, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> comes towards Gann and coming now. Owens is there also. Atchison works hard, keeps it 
in the pack and we'll have a ball up about 30 metres out from the Magpie goal. They trail 6 7 43, Thompson 10 5 65. 22 points of difference on the Apco Easy Shop third quarter scoreboard. I must say, it's not a laughing matter because that is very costly. That could have been two goals that North Geelong got from very poor umpiring decisions. Jones, Gardner off the back of the pack. Tried to draw a play at Lewis. Gave it to Nan Curvis. Good play, Lewis. He got it away from Nan Curvis. Owens, handball towards Hannison and Burns, who rides the bump of Wolfenden. Gets the footy away. Gann off the ground. Coming out at Harris. Got a little toe poke. Yeah, well done. Run through Hannison. Left foot kick around the corner. Getting back there, Lamb. And he takes a mark uncontested. At half back for the Tigers. Is he favouring his right leg or not, do you reckon? Yeah, he is. Unbelievable. Nice kick, though. Naylor. Watch the ball. Only bloke went for the ball and got it. Nice kick too. Sends it to Milne and it'll take the mark. And the accurate one's called it again. Plays on. Skoko. Very disappointing hands today. And uh, this time, gee whiz, he's number... it up again. The numbers to Thompson. Atchison held off the ball. He's still held up by. You can't see it because he's got his whistle on his face again. And I can't understand it. Didn't he drop the footy first? Ball went. Oh, okay. Play on should have been the call. Okay, fair enough. Now we've got to watch a bounce. Fellas, hasn't the game picked up physically? It has. It's pretty tough out there at the moment. Hard to get kicks. Gann, fresh air shot at centre half. Uh, centre half back. Burke breaks a tackle. Good play. Runs across half back. Takes a bounce. Backs himself. He's got Richardson wide. He goes in that direction now. Naylor right next to him. Richardson tried to hold him off. And Naylor will see it out of bounds. <laughs> And <laughs> Richo just asking umpire Wakeling about the hold, but he couldn't see it. So a boundary throw in right in front of the commentary box. Harris gets it down. Oh, right. Marnie from mid, from mid air goes with a soccer kick. And oh, Burke, good mark. On his chest at half back, good safe mark. Direct traffic into the corridor. Timmy Gardner, gee, that was nice footy. Unmarked, the uh, Whitley medalist. Just plays on a little chip over to Woofer. He uh, goes one way, then the other. Elects to go down the corridor, but oh, terrible kick. And Joey McDermott mops up for the pies. Goes there to the centre of the ground. Oh, Steiny nearly took a ripper over Walsh. Loose ball. Uh, the uh, the uh, b b breadcrumbs, or whatever you'd like to call them, oh, was mopped mark. up nicely there by uh, Gann. And he's kick up to half forward. It's that man again, Mendes. He's only kicked two, but. Uh, He's had a few opportunities, bad bouncing on a couple of games. He could have kicked six to date, but he hasn't. Well, he played uh, very well in that second term, getting the Tigers back into the match. And uh, he kicked two goals, and he'll be kicking from about 45 metres out. Another magpie down with cramp. Interesting, isn't it? Three or four today, Ron. Runs very close to the man on the mark, goes in towards the 10 metre square. Good use of the body nailer against Cowan, and takes a good mark in the last line of defence for the magpies. He had McDermott short. Whew. Must be their diet. And Key has taken the mark. Was that risky? That was very in between <laughs> three Thompson players, right in front of the goals. Very risky. He gives it to Hannison. Burns, who gets up, can't take the mark. Stewie Marnie keeps it in front of him. He's got Burke on his hammer. Top Little kick around the corner. Goes up towards uh, Peacock, who leads out from fullback. And good kick to Timmy Gardner. Sits and waits, gives it to Harris. Harris now towards half forward, looking for the man again. The man of the moment, Richardson. Naylor. It runs past Rich, uh, Naylor. Richardson, good hands to Rick Humphrey. Humphrey goes in towards Cowan. Good play. And wanted to move it on quickly. Plugger, he's got Menzies in the square, but he's going to sit and have a kick for goal. He'd want to kick it, because if he does, if I was uh, Dale Menzies, bang. 26 and a half minutes gone in this third term on the Bannockburn Sporting Trophies time clock. Mark Cowan, who uh, hasn't kicked a goal yet this afternoon, will line up. From about 30 metres out, 45 degree angle. Left foot. Oh, poor kick off uh. the boot too. It's not even going to make the distance. Menzies from behind. Thump away. Vandenberg in front. Will clear for the Magpies. Goes wide to the outer side. And finds the boundary line about 50 metres out from the Magpie goal. OK. Well, gentlemen, margin is 18 points. No, it's not. It's 22. Jeez, I'd like to be getting change off you at the Abco Easy Shop. It's a bit late. I've had a long day. Give me a break. <laughs> It's actually about 28 and a half minutes gone. It's just about silent time, I'd suggest, to terminate the third and vital quarter. Brought to us by the Apco Easy Shops in around Geelong. The loose ball now in the Thompson forward line. Oh, McDermott bustled off the footy by uh, Menzies. 
Good work there from uh, Malcolm Key. Got the ball out, but I was sharked by Humphrey B. Bear. The kick, though, was a short one. And coming out, taking a nice grab was, uh, looks like, Robbie Johannesson. Goes wide towards Burns. Menzies doubling back. Gets a, a hand to it. Oh, Burke's run it out there and kept it in, which is good. Goes long towards the goal square. Withers getting back there. Punched through by Milne for one behind to Thompson. She's very liberal, isn't she, with the... There players. is no boundary line. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in, in defence there of young Leash, I think he may have been out, but the ball wasn't. OK. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. OK. As Key kicks in short to McDermott. And he takes the mark. Oh, plays oh. on very slow because Gardner got him. Tackled him. Now Burns under pressure from Menzies. Got but he gets his kick it. wide. Stewie Marnie's got it. On half back. And he goes towards Jamie, and he gets him, and he runs off from Stein. Oh, he's bounced, and Stein's got him, and that's holding the ball. Yep. Good good pressure play from Jason Stein. Good persistence. And Stein at half back will take the free kick. A kick would have done it. Yeah, he went for that bounce and just uh, had to wait for the footy to come back up. Stein was right next to him. Goes towards the wing. Richardson and Naylor. They get hands to it. And uh, it's a boundary throw in on centre wing. Oh, it's good fun, isn't it? Watching the close encounters, I love it. Right on centre wing here on member's side. Thrown in, Harris and Jones coming across. Gets it to the front of coming, but he can't keep it in. Ooh. And it's another throw in. <laughs> we have a player down here, hit the wire fence there. He's pretty tough, James Cummings. I tell you, he's a bit of a surprise packet today. Is uh, the usual full back of the Premiership side, Mark Harris, in the ruck. He's competed pretty well. He's done very well. Up against Hannison at the moment. And another boundary throw in. Well, actually, he missed out last year, didn't he? He was he the did. emergency fullback. He, was he did miss out. Right. Yeah. So it's uh, siren time. It's three-quarter time. And Thompson have a, a good lead. 10-6-66 at three-quarter time. And North Geelong a 6-7-43 in, in that quarter. Uh, Thompson kicked five goals, three. So they doubled their score. North Geelong, two goals, one. Those two goals, we thought they may uh, get them back into the match, but uh, Thompson steadied. The goal kickers at uh, three-quarter time. Alan, uh, Rick Humphrey has four, Alan Richardson three, and Dale Menzies two. And a single goal to Craig Wolfenden, while for North Geelong, all singles. Daryl Jones, Rory Nichols, Stewie Marnie, Adam Walsh, Jamie Hutchinson, and James Cumming all have one goal apiece. So it's 23 points of difference at three-quarter time and some better players in uh, that third term boys well good Ooh. luck Steve mate with North Geelong because uh, they probably only had maybe one possibly two that come to my mind good luck with you well I'm going to skip North Geelong that quarter <laughs> I think uh, Richardson the Richardson the captain coach yep. he took the game by the scruff of the neck in true Dermot Brereton style because he didn't he didn't only kick the goals he set them up and he handed out the physical stuff as well but I think North Geelong fell for the two card trick took their race Ruckman off the ball, best on the ground at half time. Tried to plug the centre half forward, who did a reasonable job, I might add. But uh, by doing that, they uh, lost the centre bounces. So uh, if you can't get the ball out of the centre, you can't get it on the forward line, and all the pressure's up the other end, and uh, well, the score tells the story. So obviously, Richardson, uh, Menzies, and a few of the other forwards down there just uh, ran amok. Okay, so what you're saying is if Tessie Hodgson is any sort of a coach, he should go back to the starting. Yes. The starting selection. Yes. We, we're the experts, so uh, I think yeah, that's no, what I should agree, happen. Actually, no, I agree with you. <laughs> that's the stupid thing is I agree with you, and that should worry you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might change my tack now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other good players, uh, Timmy Gardner, I thought was terrific. That yes, quarter, the yes. Whitley medalist. He had yes. a lot of touches and set it up, whether at half back or at half forward. I wouldn't mind a dollar for every hand pass uh, Timmy's had today. Yeah. Uh, and he's probably, uh, you know, his kicking lets him down a little. It's probably an area that he can work on. But but in fairness, Ron, if I can just interrupt there, I, I think the Pies weren't far out of it. They kicked a couple of goals and got within about 11 points or 9 points, I think it was. And then, uh, for some unknown reason, things stopped again. They, they almost got back into it. And I think that was the time where they had to go up a gear, but they didn't. The other team did. And I think now uh, they're right up against it. Well, it's 23 points of difference at three-quarter time. The Tigers have it at the moment. We'll see if the Magpies can come back in the... Th in the